Hi Turtle fans, this is David Clark, owner of adultcollector.org, and this is a review of the glow-in-the-dark Mutagen Man figure from Super 7. Yes, this is the special exclusive offering available only from entertainmentearth.com, which was very kind in giving me this figure to review. This figure is part of Super 7's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Ultimates toy line, designed and sculpted by Four Horsemen Toy Design, the same talented artists who brought us the Mythic Legions toy line and the historic Masters of the Universe Classics toy line. Like other figures in the line, it comes with this nice slip cover. This one's personalized for Mutagen Man can see his little brainy face there and it's got the nice glow in the dark elements around here and it has a nice texture you can feel that texture in here it reminds me of some glow in the dark uh, comic books that I collected as a kid and it's got the nice little exclusive sticker for entertainment earth right there and the glow in the dark on the back with the logo again it's got not only the texture here around the outline but this whole thing is textured is very nice it's very glo you know it's captures a very nice gloss I don't know if you can see that there yeah there you go okay but yeah let's uh, take a look at the rest of the packaging ah. and you can see the same uh, glow-in-the-dark elements all around the edges here which is very nice let's have a look here at the back more of that textured glow-in-the-dark goodness and again if you angle it just right you can see that the gloss exposes a nice uh, Ninja Turtle logo here with the shell uh, lots of little speckles of gloss I you know they really touched up this box I like it and you've got the Super 7 logo and Nickelodeon logo on the back one of my favorite things about this figure is that it, the whole thing glows in the dark. The packaging, the figure, it looks so cool on the shelf. Take a look. All right, here he is, Mutagen Man, out of the packaging. And this is a lot of toy. This is seven inches tall. He's pretty heavy compared with other uh, figures in the Ultimates line. Let's take a look first at the accessories that he comes with. There's no real extra detail in there, which I love. I really appreciate how closely they're sticking to the original design, uh, which is the really the, the goal of this toy line, which is spot on. But yeah, so we get this uh, weapon rack, which is what, you know, we get some kind of weapon rack with every Ultimates figure, whereas uh, we didn't get that in the original uh, toy line. And so this one looks like it's made out of pipes. Uh, this is, you know, the same thing we get with the original Ultimates Mutagen Man figure, but it's in a different color. It's nice glow in the dark green. And here's some shots showing you that uh, he gets a second set of these accessories, but in, uh, you know, the same skin tone color that, that he has. You also get these extra hands. These are fists for Mutagen Man. And you can see that the hands will pop off easily, but not too easily, right? Because you don't want them just falling off. Uh, again, the articulation, everything is built really well with this figure. There you go. And so the articulation here, we've gotten the wrist. And uh, yeah, that's all the accessories, right? So let's just look at the uh, articulation. And so you also get articulation here in the uh, at the elbow and by the way this is a very gummy plastic I was very I was surprised by that but uh, yeah it, it's fine um, so you've got articulation this uh, you know kind of ball joint here at the shoulder right uh, no articulation going on here right because it's just you know big old tank um, you've got another ball joint right here in the leg, at the knee. It's a ratchet joint, and you can you can turn this all the way around. It's it it's you know it's got this extra bit of you know flesh looking plastic here. It looks like he's kind of gooping over the the metal metallic portion here, 
and then uh, you have get uh, what do you call that a rocker joint here it's kind of basically like a ball joint but you can rock it back and forth you know um, and it's a rat ratchet joint like right there okay and yeah that is it for articulation so not a ton going on here but uh, still you know it, it doesn't feel like he's too stiff or that he's just gonna you know that that the only thing you can do is stand him up um, he's he's got a few things going for him yeah I should point out the tank at the top here uh, you can take that off like the vintage figure but you know you're with this one uh, like the regular mutagen man figure in this line uh, you should not put water in here because it's going to drip out of here it's just gonna leak out and rather quickly and then it's gonna fog up you know at least it's gonna leave spots on the plastic so on you know it's a bit of a bummer but yeah unfortunately uh, that's just not an option with this figure um, otherwise yeah it's got this uh, tube that connects nicely at the top and on the back where the tank is look at all these wonderful colors uh, you can't just like again with the regular ultimates mutagen man figure you can't remove the tank uh, with the vintage one you you can okay let's compare with the other mutagen man figures here is the original Mutagen Man figure from the Ultimates toy line, and look at how gorgeous this figure is. Oh my god. You know, Mutagen Man is one of my absolute favorite figures from the Vintage toy line. I'm sure a lot of collectors agree with me on that. And by the way, here is my vin me and my brother's Vintage Mutagen Man figure from our childhood. Yeah, we kept all of our figures, all of the accessories. Very proud of that, right? Uh, you can you can even hear it. Let's see. I don't think it's yeah. There's no water in there now, but yeah, you can hear those accessories. Jane, <laughs> I'm gonna have to fill this up again so I can watch them kind of float around. But yeah, you can see you know like with the uh, the standard Mutagen Man figure. Now I mean first look at how huge it is. The size comparison. Oh my gosh, uh, it makes me feel like my toys were tiny as children. But yeah, you can see that with the regular figure, there is, you know, it's very clear that there is a lot of, you know, there's like a two-tone going on in here, like a purple, kind of a purple wash over the pink, and there's some metallic paint with the red, with the yellow gun. And uh, these individual uh, accessories are painted, see? Yep. And here where that's not, you know, that extra paint you don't get with the special edition. And, you know, it's just part of the design, right? The aesthetic. It's a, it's a glow-in-the-dark figure. And, you know, I'm really impressed with the color scheme that they chose. Look at the ample use of metallic paint on this figure. These wonderful greens. See? the met I think the metallic green really brings out the detail better than uh, the flat purple on this this figure and of course the the vintage figure too it really sh well shines <laughs> right and along with the you know gold metallic paint and what's nice is see with this figure you get these nice metallic blues but then at the feet it's flat it's a flat blue whereas on this figure the metallic gold is continued throughout the design, right? Right down to the feet. Nice shiny feet. Perfect. And I really dig these, you know, bright, this bright neon pink throughout here, along with, of course, the glow in the dark elements. It's just, I, you know, I, I didn't think, I never knew that we needed a glow in the dark mutagen man figure and Super 7 has taught us that yes we absolutely need one yeah 
I'm so happy that we got a Mutagen Man figure in the Ultimates line so early on, right? This is like a dream come true. I mean, I've wanted for years and years, I'm sure a lot of us have wanted them to actually bring back the, the vintage figures, but in a larger scale, more de- a little more detail. I mean, this is, uh, I, I, I never thought that we'd actually get this, at, you know, in our Christmas stockings, and yet here here we are. I I kind of wish we would also be able to get this that that new sculpt to that you know b- these beautiful new figures but in vintage scale as well uh you know but that's just that's just me being a super spoiled toy collector <laughs> but yeah this glow in the dark mutagen man figure so happy that they made this and uh it's definitely worth picking up so follow the link in the description of this video and be sure to check out the teenage mutant ninja turtle ultimates fans group on facebook So yeah, that's all I had for now. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment and subscribe if you want to see more content. Until next time, stay safe and good journey, everyone.